All right, Pet Man Matt Marr with Charlotte Football Insiders. We're here once again. Uh, very excited to talk about um, a very talented young man over at Charlotte Christian School who's been doing big things in this uh, shortened COVID-19 season for them. Um, I mean, every time I've seen this guy now live, he's just done amazing things with the football in his hands. And that is uh, Charlotte Christian running back Henry Rutledge. We're going to bring him on with us right now. All right. How are we doing today, sir? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Excited to talk with you. I've been wanting to talk to you for a while. And, um, you know, we're just excited to, to let the world get to know you a little bit more. Yes. Um, so, obviously, uh, first off, you're having a great season. Um, but I know it's weird because we've got COVID-19 going on and, um, <laughs> you know, the games are not the same, you know, with limited fans and everything like that. So, uh, first thing I want to ask you is, how did you get ready for a season like this with everything going on with the pandemic? I mean, I was just on the field with some of my guys. We were just we just kept working. Uh, we delayed our summer workout because um, we didn't like know exactly what was going to happen with COVID. So um, I just went out with like four or five of my guys. We we just like ran, did one on ones, just like worked on our ball skills. So just to get ready for the season. Very good, very good. So I also want to ask you, what is it like? You know, you come out, you know, like you normally do through the, the big night thing with the smoke and all that, which is always cool to see. But then, you know, you're used to having your, you know, a big group of fans there, the band and, you know, everyone. What is it like playing in that environment where you kind of have to build your own energy a little bit? I mean, I haven't really noticed like that much of a difference except for like the student section. But I mean, our moms are like, they're loud enough. So uh, I, I feel their energy. And then, um, I mean, our team just provides a lot of energy as well. So uh, I, I can't really tell a difference. So yeah, it's all good. Very good. Very good. Excellent, man. So let's step back a little bit. Let's get to know you a little bit as a person. So the first thing I want to ask you is what what made you want to play football in the first place? Uh, just like watching it on TV, I was like, oh, that looks like so super fun. And like, I mean, I was fast when I was younger. So uh, I just thought people couldn't catch me. So I was just going to play football. And, and I liked uh, getting tackled. No, I, I didn't like getting tackled. I like tackling people. So. Um, I just like running away from people, dodging people. And it's just like the adrenaline and that it gives me. I just wanted to play it. So, yeah. Very good. Very good. Have you always played running back? I have. Yeah, that was my favorite position because uh, my favorite running back was Adrian Peterson. So, like, I, oh, I just wow. grew up watching okay. him. So, yeah. Yeah, all day AP. I like that. Yes, good role model to have, man. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Um. And that kind of took away my next question. So obviously he's your role model. <laughs> yeah. Um, in your opinion, what's the best thing you do on the field? Um, I just provide for my team. I do whatever I is needed for me. Whenever my number's called, I just try to perform. So um, just I'm a role player, I guess. Very good. Very good. So. You know, we were at your last game and you were out there for the coin toss as a captain. So as as a leader on this team, kind of describe how you are. Are you vocal? Do you lead by example? What, what's your leadership style? I'm probably one of the most quiet leaders you'll find. Uh, I like to lead by example. You, you won't find me giving speeches or anything. So I just like lead by example. Um, that's it. Okay, very good, very good. And your play speaks for itself. I mean, there's not a lot you have to say, obviously, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, in your opinion, what's the best high school football game you've ever been a part of? Hmm. Best high school football game? Probably, I would just say the uh, 2018 state championship game versus Christ School. Uh, we just, like, it was we had the best team in the uh, state, and it was just fun to go out there and compete. And I played a lot my sophomore year, so it was just fun. I played offense and defense, and I was out there most of the time just having fun running around. And we won the state championship, so that was awesome too. 
Absolutely. You guys have a great winning tradition over at Charlotte Christian. Um, you know, what? what is the thing that you think in that program that allows you guys to continue to compete for state championships every year um, over there? It's just the coaching staff. I mean, they're amazing. They've all been here for like more than like 12 years. So uh, just like their leadership has like inspired us and just they they have great game plans and we just execute. So, yeah. Very good. Very good. So, you know, Coach Estep is your head coach. What is the experience like playing for him? And uh, what, what are some things you can say about him um, as just a leader for you at a um, – a good role model. Yeah, he's like one of the best people I've ever been around. Um, like his leadership is just amazing, and so many guys look up to him. And like even like the alum, they like they talk to him all the time because like he's like one of the most influential people that they've ever been around. And he's just inspiring me because like he's one of my role models as well. So yeah, best coach I've ever had. Very good. So. Awesome, awesome. That means reflected in you know all the winning for sure. Um, do you listen to music before the game? And if you do, what's your favorite song to kind of get you focused on the game? Uh, I mean, we listen to Meek Mill, Dreams and Nightmares, and um, I I don't really personally listen to that much music before. I just like to stay calm and collected. So, yeah, but Dreams and Nightmares is where it's at. Music wise. Yeah, I've heard that one before. Very good. So, okay, I'm going to go off script. What gets you fired up and excited? Because you are a really chill guy. You're very calm. You're very measured. So, what takes you out of that element? Um, I mean, it takes a lot. Uh, I just like, I get fired up whenever I see like one of my like best friends or guys making a play. Uh, I'll, I'll get like really fired up or like if someone's just disrespecting me, I'll, I'll just like stop being nice. I'll just like go. I won't be calm anymore. I'll just like you saw me do the, the peace sign um, versus Providence Day. And that's just because like they were all talking to me. So it got me out of my comfort zone. So I just <laughs> lashed out, I guess. Oof. Yeah, I was going to say, I've seen your celebrations now. I know you got it in you. <laughs> yeah, probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> they probably should have threw a flag at me, but <laughs> yeah. Not yeah, going to do know, that next you, game. You know. Yeah, yeah, and, and you didn't. You didn't, yeah. so you learn from you know your mistakes. That's good, man. That's good. Um, Are you in the video games? If so, what's your favorite video game? And are you really good at it, or are you just okay? Um, I don't play a lot of video games. Uh. My favorite would be Madden, and I'm terrible at it. So don't ask me to play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like your honesty, man. That's awesome. Yes, That's awesome, man. Um, who would you like to thank for your football success so far in your career? Oh, definitely my parents. Just like all the sacrifices they made. Um, Coach Esep for giving me the, like the opportunity to come and play at the school and like be a main part of the football team so just like all them all my friends for like um like working with me getting me better improving like everything and all the aspects of my game so yeah all of them very good very good awesome man it's great to have a good support system around you um last thing i want to ask you we've got a lot of different issues going on in the world we got social injustice we've got a lot of unrest we've got a crazy election going on uh, what are your thoughts on everything that's going on right now? I mean, it. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, there needs to be change, obviously. Um, but uh, it's just like, yeah, people need to step up. People need to start treating people equally. Um, just we need a. People need to lead by example, and um, if we need to have a leader that does it, so. We need to step up as like just a group of nation and just like bond together. So, yeah, I totally agree. I mean, no matter who's in charge, there are people that watch this and play back and um, 
you know, everything. So is there anything you want to say in particular to fans and people that support you throughout your uh, career? Um, just thank you. And um, I mean, just enjoy, enjoy everything Charlotte Christian's going to be doing. So, yeah. Very good, man. Very good, man. I appreciate the time uh, today to get to know you a little bit more. Um, you know, you're one of the most relaxed dudes <laughs> I've ever talked to. And, um, you know, it, it's really cool because, you know, nothing really gets you rattled, but you're very talented on the field. And Thank you. You've got a bright future wherever you decide to go on the next level. And uh, we're excited to see, you know, where you go from here, man. So uh, once again, thank you so much. Appreciate Thanks, it. Baby. Appreciate it. Thank you.